What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Arrivy channel. So today in this video, I'm going to be showcasing this headset one last time and also show you guys how you guys compare this to your guys' computer via Bluetooth. So make sure to leave a little thumbs up on this video and uh, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for future how-to videos and gaming videos. The first thing you guys are going to want to do, turn the headset on, right? We just turned it on um, and what I want you guys to do to get it ready for Bluetooth pairing is the button right there that has a little Bluetooth icon on it right there. If you guys can see that. Hold the Bluetooth button down, right, until it says Bluetooth off. As you guys heard, it had Bluetooth off. Now, once you hear that, let me get a better visual on this if I can. So once you hear that, Hold it again. Now, what I want you to do is hold it until you hear Bluetooth pairing. Now, when you first do this, there's two sounds it'll make. It'll say Bluetooth on. Keep holding down until it says Bluetooth pairing. Now, watch as I demonstrate. So, here's the, the Bluetooth button. Hold it down. There's Bluetooth on. Keep holding. Pairing Bluetooth. Once you guys hear pairing Bluetooth, you'll see that it's flashing a white on the uh, headset. Now go to your computer, go to uh, where you have Bluetooth. I usually just go over down into here. Um, uh, yeah, that popped up. Oh, if it pops up, you guys can hit allow um, and it should also do it, but it didn't. So um, we're gonna go down here. And to get to here, so let me just exit out of this. To get to there, just um, go to, I can usually go down to here and hit this. And if you, if your computer does have Bluetooth, it should have this here. Um, and it, what it'll do is right click on it, show or add Bluetooth device. It'll bring you up to the settings. Um, if you don't have a little shortcut, your Windows key down here. Let's, hold on, let's redo that again. Your Windows key down here. Just click on it, hit the search bar, um, or if you already have the search bar there, hit the search bar and type in blue Bluetooth and it should come up, same thing. So then add Bluetooth or device and then hit um, either, there's two ways of doing this or three ways. So first off, try Bluetooth and it should pop up. And as you guys can see, still 700 G2 Xbox One um, has popped up. Here's something I want to mention though. So there is two, as you guys can see, Stealth 700 G2 Xbox One audio. And then there's one right here that doesn't have anything on it. You guys want the one that has audio under it. So make sure it does say audio instead of clicking this one, cause this one won't work. It has to show the audio. Once we click that, it'll show connecting. Your device is ready to go. And you guys will know it's connected because it says connected voice and music. You guys will also hear a tone on your headset saying, Headset connected, and as you guys can see, instead of doing the white blinking noise, it shows a green LED. If you guys <clears throat> want to learn how to further set up your headset to possibly use your mic, I do have a video further explaining that in the link of the description. I'll put a link down in there. Um, it'll also pop up in the top right corner right now. And if you guys want to learn how to set up your microphone to use it, go ahead and check out that video. Um, but one thing before you go, don't leave just yet. It's better off with this headset to just buy your own external microphone to use it. Um, it sucks because, you know, it, it's a shame. This headset costs, what, $150 brand new um, or more. So it's it's a shame that they made it so hard to do uh, to connect to Xbox, or not Xbox, to connect to PC. Um, for Xbox One, I could not complain. I don't have any complaints for that for me. Um, everything works perfect. But for PC, it was just a pain to figure it out. So, yeah. Um, that's how you guys will be able to set up your headset um, for the Stealth 700 G2s. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. And um, hopefully this kind of helps everybody out trying to connect their headset. Subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.